The third of these extreme abnormal curvature of the spine, kyphosis, lordosis, is scoliosis. Scoliosis literally means crooked or bent, and it's crooked or bent to the side or laterally. It's the lateral curvature of the spine. This results in the C-shaped lateral curvature or an S-shaped lateral curvature. The lower curve is the primary curve, the next curve going up is the secondary curve, and then the next one up is the tertiary curve. Few people have more than three abnormal lateral curvatures of the spine. The treatment includes braces, casts, exercise, surgery, vertebral adjustments, and hip adjustments to correct for leg length. A combination of these things may be necessary to correct the abnormal curvature. In many individuals, it is the ilium rotating anteriorly forward or posteriorly backwards as it articulates with the sacrum, causing the leg length to shorten or lengthen a quarter inch to an inch or more. This shortening of the leg causes the body to tilt in that direction. Now the brain says if you're tilted in that direction, you need to get the brain over the center of gravity. And so the head and the spine and the body and the upper part move to the opposite direction. As a result, you get your primary curve. Then the head usually goes beyond the center of gravity to equal out weight. Then the head and the other body parts move in the opposite direction, causing a secondary curve. And then in another 12 to 20 years, same thing happens again, where the head goes beyond the center of gravity, and you get your third or your tertiary curve of the spine. Sometimes if you simply correct the length of the legs with a lift, like with a person with polio, the abnormal curvature will correct itself. Sometimes surgery is required, sometimes lifts are required, and sometimes spinal adjustments and an increase of muscle tone will correct this abnormal lateral curvature of the spine.